A team of researchers with Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory and the University of California has developed a porous material that is able to split carbon dioxide molecules into carbon monoxide and oxygen. In their paper published in the journal Science, the team describes how they developed their material and how it might be used to help remove some of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Most scientists now agree that global warming is occurring at least partly due to greenhouse gas emissions, the most notorious being carbon dioxide. And since we can't seem to stop pumping CO2 into the air, researchers are looking into ways to pull it back out. Plants, as we all know, remove CO2, but the process is slow and there aren't enough of them to offset the amount of CO2 currently emitted. As one approach to removing CO2, scientists have been studying what are known as porphyrin's ring-shaped molecules with a cobalt atom at their core. When they are added to a solution containing two electrodes, an electrolyte, and some dissolved CO2, they are attracted to the negatively charged electrolyte carrying electrons to the CO2, causing it to split into CO and O. But there are problems the solution is dirty and the effectiveness of the porphyrins lessens over time. In this new effort, the team found a way around these problems by creating a covalent organic framework COF. A material made by linking porphyrins together into a mesh one that is also able to conduct electricity. As CO2 percolates through the mesh, it is split into carbon dioxide and oxygen by a bit of current. The team found that the COF they developed worked much better than when using porphyrins alone, and then discovered that making the holes in the mesh bigger and adding copper improved the performance even more. The end results was a material that proved to be six 60 times better at splitting CO2 than using porphyrins alone, and it was also more efficient approximately 90% of the electrons were used in the process. Another plus was that the team was able to split 240,000 CO2 molecules per hour putting it among the best at the job of any type of process.